in front of a loud but unmistakably tense crowd. MLB The Show's coverage of the Major League Baseball postseason begins right here. It's the one-game National League wildcard playoff between the New York Mets and the Cincinnati Reds. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Cincinnati Reds. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men with a lot on their shoulders. Our two starters here in this wild card matchup. With that, here are Terry Collins' New York Mets. Steve, what has to happen if they want to survive the wild card game and move on? Well, I think you really have to limit the strikeouts in this game. Don't have any wasted plate appearances, and we know that's easier said than done. But you also have to have your three, four, five hitters step up in this one somehow. Carlos Gomez heads for the batter's box the and we are just about ready for some evening Carlos baseball. Gomez. Here's a pitch taken for ball one as we get underway here at 7.06. First pitch, 7.06. Carlos and back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 oh now. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. On, he swings right through it there. Two and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Called strike Ooh. on the sinker. Two and two now. The changeup is nice. taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. And this figures to be a very nerve-wracking game. I mean, both of these teams have played hard for 162 games, and now everything rides on just one game. But one air, one wild pitch, one double play could be the difference between moving on or going home. Here comes the first pitch. Justin Turner comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch shots that begin the ball game. 
Obviously, it'll be very important to keep these top two guys off base going forward. They're the ones that set the table and make this team go. So that's a good job here to set them down to start the ball game. Nelson Cruz gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Well, you figure that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him going forward. Yeah, I think it might even tell the story of how well he fares here tonight because he's going to need to mix his speeds against a lineup like this. And once they start sitting on pitches, it could be trouble. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that fastball his definitely catches your attention. I mean, especially when it's on the inner half. Just underway here in Cincinnati. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95 plus mile an hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Looking to strike out the side to begin the ball game. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Colby Rasmus would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more of this wild card showdown after this. Time now for a look at the hometown Reds starting lineup card in this one. What's important for this lineup as they look to earn a berth into the division series, Psycho? Well, they need to get guys on base. So you need patience at the top of the lineup and then aggressiveness out of the middle of the order once you've got some guys to drive in. Jacob DeGrom is on the mound for the visitors in this NL wildcard matchup. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, he's been one of the most dependable starting pitchers around. He's got a career ERA of less than three. One of the best out there Second on the mound. Baseman, Everett Cabrera. 78 stolen bases. Everett yeah. Cabrera is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 78 stolen bases. Nope. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Cruz has it in his tracks. One down. Oh, you can definitely feel and tell that it's October out there. There's a little bit of moisture in the air. Here, this ball sounded pretty good off the bat, and you wonder if it would have been a different story if it was mid-July out there. Into the box, Charlie Blackman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Yeah, guys, he's a very solid umpire. Well respected for the strike zone he calls and the consistency he brings to the job. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. This is dangerous. Because out of anybody in this lineup, this guy's probably the most likely to want to run. So look out. Edwin Encarnacion now. 
as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh and he's tracking that all the way across the plate but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. Runners off for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. If you're a stolen base kind of guy, most of your stolen bases are on the pitcher, not the catcher. But this was a slide step that he used right here, and he still stole the base. I think you got to blame the catcher for this one. One out and a runner on second base. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. All right, now you're looking at no way for them to manufacture a run, really. There's a guy on third now, but two outs. That really wasn't all that helpful. Corey Dickerson gets his first shot now, trying to cash in with a runner at third and two gone. Yeah, and all he needs to do here is find a hole anywhere. Hit hard to short. Fielded by Galvis. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Colby Rasmus makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So... Now at two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Well, pitching like this deserves another look through as we check out the last four batters on show track. Here he was striking out the side the previous inning, and he starts things off here with another one. That's four in a row now. Here's Adrian now. Off-speed pitch oh, no. in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. at that point either it's 2 and 0 2 and 0 count here it comes 
three oh, and oh now. And even on three and oh, it's no given that he's going to be taken up there. We've seen him go after pitches in this spot before. He's not going to hold back. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. Full count, here it comes. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight Ooh. strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Well, that's just an indecision there on three and two. Well, he's thinking, should I swing? You could just see him try and hold up, but by that point, he'd already broken the plane. That's an easy call. Stepping in now, Brett Wallace. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change. Nibbled the oh. corner there, but missed two and one. Oh. Three and one oh now. My. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Change up inside. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nice, nice. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Let's get these bats going. Albert Pujols will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven. Do up to start the home man. second. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Swing and a liner. Foul. What he likes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Gonzalez in foul ground. And reined in one away. Yeah, very tough to get on top of a fastball at 96. Even if you miss it by an inch or two, you know, this is what the result will be. An easy pop-up. Stepping in, Mookie Betts, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Let's go, Mook. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Well, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. Good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. The fastball looks awfully sharp here early on. Sound sharp, too. Swung on, and he went fishing Ooh. in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. 
Batting seven. Boy, that's Third. a really Excellent. nice play there behind the plate. Steven he doesn't panic. Song. He takes his time and makes the good throw on the first. So score that a strikeout with a 2-3 put out for good measure. Into the box now, Steven Sung. And so pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Drilled on the ground is short. Galvis has it. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Coverage of the wild card game rolls on. Brock Holt will stand in now to lead things off. 7, 8, and 9 here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Fastball called for strike two. And they may have found a location that they like right here. Two different pitches, both taken on the inside corner. And now they can go just about anywhere they want. Hit on the ground is short. Segura has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight, the catcher number 34, James McCann. James McCann stands in. First offering on its way. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Sinker, one ball, one strike. That's popped up now towards short right field. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Well, here it is again. Look at him just bury this one right at the letters. And you can see it. he got him to pull off the swing a bit and just pop it straight up. Freddie Galvis will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. That's a strike. Come on, and man. That's a strike, one. umpire. Yeah, if your team still doesn't have a hit, you'll appreciate a call like that once in a while. Look at that thing. That's a strike all day. That's inside. 2-0. And with two away here, this is not the time to lose the strike zone. Especially not to a number nine hitter. The last thing you want to do is turn this lineup over and give these guys a shot to make something out of this inning after all. Swung on. Missed two and one. Wow, what a good Why time to take basketball. something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Line toward right center. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Yeah, that's a two-out hit here in the third inning. Maybe just a little something to get this guy out of his early comfort zone and put him into the stretch. On the ground to the left side. He'll go to Everett for the force, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Derek Norris digs into the box in the bottom Leading of inning number three. Catcher, Derek Norris.
First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Liner towards second. Ah. And he set down one away. Oh, oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder Jeez. than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Maybe even a half heartbeat, considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. Gene Segura stands in for the first time. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. Wow. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route now number batting. two. Mm. And on a night when the Everett, temperature is in the 40s, this one's going to sting for a while. No doubt about that. In now, Everett Cabrera. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Turner is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Takes just four pitches. Justin Turner is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. Striding into the box, Nelson Cruz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Blackman. Two gone. And with two strikes, when you force a hitter to hit your changeup, that's how you take his power away, especially when it's down in the zone. That's a sign of a smart pitcher right there. Colby Rasmus is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And he is in there. Now batting, the first baseman, Adrian Gonzalez. Digging in, Adrian Gonzalez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And Matt, that was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled him last time up. So it'll be interesting to see if they attack him with the breaking ball again here. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And now you got to regroup after the two-out single. 
you're in a dangerous spot in the lineup. So the inning's not over yet. Not by a long shot. Hit to first. Fielded by Encarnacion. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. <coughs> Mets strand no one. Second. On to the no bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Come on, boys. Charlie Blackman is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. Into the windup and the pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Boy, we're more than halfway through this game, and he's thrown a first pitch strike to 70% of the batters he's faced, so he's pitching very, very well right now. Line to the right side. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Let's watch <laughs> this swing and eyes. show motion. Absolutely. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Oh, what are you doing? Edwin Encarnacion now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Now here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on, the heart of the order's coming up, and maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And a dive, but he's back. Got a pretty good lead right there. Here it comes, 1-0. Pitch out, nothing doing. Two and 0 pitch on the way. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. Here's a look over to first. Ah. Dive, but he's back. And another throw over. And the runner back. Good, man. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Yes. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the oh, hands of one strike. of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job good to take two. what's given to you. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Oh. Oh, he hit it out. D. Yes. That is a moonshot for yes. a long home run. Yeah, baby. So a two-run home run for Edwin Encarnacion. Yes. And it's given Cincinnati a two-to-nothing lead. It's a big fucking homer. I tell you, that's the perfect storm there. A power oh, pitcher on the yeah. mound, throwing a hard fastball to a power hitter at the Rushed plate. It. He takes a big swing and squares it perfectly. I mean, that's as long a home run as you're going to see. Fucking Standing in now, beautiful. Corey Dickerson. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And now's where he can't get discouraged out there. He's still pitching yeah, well, only down 2 nothing. Year? Still plenty of time left homies. to turn it around. Here comes the 1-0. Hey. Fastball at 94 oh miles God. an hour, and it's 1-1. One one. Should have been on top of that. Bat explodes as this has popped up. 
And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. A broken bat, little looper down to third. Keeping your focus on the baseball is the thing you have to do here, which is easier said than done when you've got a flying projectile heading your way. But he takes this one in, no problem. Here's Albert now. And so watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. It swung on and hit in the air. That's it, Hog. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. Now back. Center fielder. Mookie Betts is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down half. Striking Nelson out is one Cruz of the many frustrations that go along with hitting. And you have to accept that Red it's going to happen sometimes. Mariners. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Line drive to left. Rasmus is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But the Reds do push across a couple on this two-run home run. We played four, two-nothing Cincinnati. Brett Wallace will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. He's ready, here's the 0-1. That's in there, Ooh. and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Well, you get the sense that what they need Harry is Collins one is big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this the game, irony. because right now they just seem out of it. Two quick Grom strikes, and now the 0 2. Against Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point, so his control has been really, really spot on so far. Here's Brock Holt now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2-1. and one. Into the windup. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, 3-1. and one. And with the tying run in the on-deck circle, the question, does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on 3-2, and two, even if this one's a strike. Looking to avoid his first walk. Hit to short. There's Segura. On to first, nice. and there were two down. The catcher, number 34, James McCann. Settling in now, James McCann. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball Ooh. called for strike one. Well, this guy has thrown a first pitch strike to about 50% of the batters he's faced. He's pitching well, but those numbers could be pumped up a little bit. 0-1, oh here it comes. Starts to go around oh. here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike Bad two pitch. anyway. Yeah, one pitch away now from Bad getting pitch. through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what. The way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Oh. 
is a swing and a high pop-up. Norris has a play, and that retires the side. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Reds lead it two yes. to nothing. Syndergaard, man. Steven Sung comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Third baseman, Steven Sung. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Ball and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour a ball and a strike drilled to the right side he'll get to this one deep in the hole and the throw gets him as he takes away a hit that time yeah and he had to range deep for this one and you also got to worry about that ball hitting the lip of the outfield grass so you got to hang with it just like he did and he made a nice play the catcher Derek Norris is in they shall take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And that's in there as well. 0-2 oh now. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. He's throwing a 91-mile-an-hour slider. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. He just manhandled him. Well, he went after him with all sliders. Just one after another after another. Just couldn't do a thing with any of them. Nope. You're absolutely right. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Everett Cabrera will dig in. 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped out so far. Just getting under it right now. See if you can make an adjustment and keep that top hand strong this time. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0-1? Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. Now a throw over to first. He's out. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. One time. hit in the At inning, but no one left. Up next Five inning. innings complete. Reds Very out in big. front, two to nothing. Freddie Galvis will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game.
Fans on your drive home, don't forget to tune in to AM 1750 for a full recap of our ball game and, of course, lots and lots of debate. It's the Big O and Grumpy Joe Show featuring Omar Cannon and Joe Wilkerson after the ball game exclusively on 1750 AM. in front of it strike one and he misses with it one and one And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And if he's had any postseason jitters, he hasn't shown them to me. No, he's been outstanding so far. One and two, here it comes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Blackman will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number one. Another guy retired there. You see his pitching line to this point. It's phenomenal. Just two hits. Both of them are singles. And he's hardly even been in trouble. Thorough domination so far. So one gun in the inning, and that brings up the speedy Carlos Gomez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Skied into straightaway right. Dickerson's there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, third baseman, Justin Turner. Justin Turner will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. On his way to pitch number 75. And he'll come back with one in the third as the count moves to two and one now. All the way here to start the at bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy, get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Well, I think he got the pitch he was looking for right there, but not in the right location. So that's a great job of just holding up the swing. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Right side hit hard and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down. Colby Rasmus will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard.
And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. A strike away now from getting through six shot oh. innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Swung on, and, yeah. missed, and that's the final out of the inning. It's a good pitch. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more of this wild card Kobe showdown. Kobe Rasmus after live this. two weeks ago. Everett Cabrera gets things started here in the sixth for Bring the hometown Cabrera. team. And guys, Second this is the guy you want Everett leading off this Cabrera. inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense Come help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Ooh. Bottom dropped oh, out on him, and that's a strikeout. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now batting. And you know, he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. And you can see what his breakdown is so far. Charlie Blackman digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Line down the left field line. Oh. But this will be foul. Come on, Charlie. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on hey. Gonzalez, and that's no out number way. Come two. on, show me the fucking. Now well, it doesn't show look me like the, the manager fully Thank agrees you. with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to and challenge it and out. have the play reviewed. Yeah, he wasn't so sure that was the right call, and looking at it again right here, He's I don't know safe. if I can tell He's for safe. sure either. We'll wait to see what the guys in the dugout say after reviewing this play a couple of times, probably. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Reds have elected to challenge the All right, we'll take one last look at it here. Now the question is, safe. if there's enough video evidence safe. to change the call to safe, and wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat the throw, and this might be a well-used challenge. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off. And yeah. the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base. And they maintain the right to challenge the further plays going forward. Fuck you, Terry Collins. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run oh. home run that oh, was definitely yeah. one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. <laughs> one of the big blows. That was the big blow. That was nice. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, maybe you see a little cat and mouse game going between the pitcher and the runner right now. We'll see who wins this duel. The 0 1. There we go. 
Pitch inside the throw. Nice. Time. He's in there at second. Oh, I think he's pretty lucky to get in there safely on this play. It's a Bro, decent jump, and I think a good throw might nail him down there. Instead, you see it's wide of the mark, off to the shortstop side of the base, and he's able to beat that tag to get in safely. Runner at second here with one man out. Liner toward right side. Oh my god. He's got himself you gotta be in. kidding me. Around third and being waved on home. They're gonna extend their lead as the yes. runner scores from second. It's a three-nothing game. Let's go to the fucking Let's division. Pays off right here with a run. Now maybe he scores from first on this ball anyway. I'm not sure. But he doesn't really Let's have to go to the about division it. He series, have to worry baby. About a play at the plate either. He'll walk home on the RBI double. Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on, on his Terry. way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do See it for the starter the tonight. Ground. Get out of So town. he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Steve Geltz will come in and pitch now. For the Mets, number 55, Steve Geltz. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Stepping in now, Corey Dickerson. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And that is into right field, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. The batter, number 15, designated hitter, Albert Pujols, will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Yeah, and he just needs to make a small adjustment and stay through the middle of the ball. Think about hitting the line driver right back up the middle. Here's the first pitch to him. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't get into a double play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Holt backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Well, anytime you get an RBI guy to the plate with He's less than two Albert. outs, and he does that, he is not happy. That's a kind of at bat that'll stick with you for a while. Mookie Betts. Strides in now, and we'll see if he can come through with two on and two out here in the sixth. Well, there's still a lot of this game left, but it is starting to get late. This is a big opportunity. And to score is the runner from third. That makes it a 4-0 Wow. Game. Wow, Mookie. Down the fucking line. First pitch. Time for another old baseball cliche. It's a wow. game of inches. And it was on this ball. Boom. Take a look at how close this is to the foul line. And this is not a fair ball by a whole lot, but I guarantee you he'll take it. He pulls into second with an RBI right double. It. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. The catcher, number three, Derek Norris. Norris Derek Norris the stands too. in the eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Yeah, you know, and this could get ugly in a hurry. Or pretty, I guess, depending on which dugout you're sitting in. And that's in there for a strike. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. Looking to minimize the damage here. 
slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Well, he's still got to make one more big pitch, but this is a great start with the bases loaded. Bases are loaded here, two down. Struck him out. Oh. You talk about pulling a rabbit out of your hat. He gets out of the jam, and the side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Seventh. Fernando Abad is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Leading off the inning, Adrian Gonzalez. And they'll need him to get something going here. And so far in this one, they're still getting shut out. So this lead off that bat could be huge if he can just get on base because they've been held in check all game. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Breaking ball is this is right at his melon as he turns away there. Oh, and even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. Two and one Parker. after the foul ball there. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Gonzalez is retired, and there's one away. Yeah, that's a good pitch right there. Get some fishing for it. Then nice work to tidy up behind the plate and make the put out at first. Should have got him on the tag. That was like beautiful. Into the box now, Brett Wallace. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Mm. That might have been his best swing of the night there. He was right on it. Nope. And there's ball one. Ooh, he might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might <laughs> just change strike. the whole complexion of the at-bat. Show me again. I want to see it. Strike all day. Look at that. And no complaint about that one. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Yeah, that finds a zone, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite him. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression good since pitching, coming man. on. Good two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Hit hard up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with the base hit. James McCann will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. And this is low, ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. A runner on first with two away. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Ooh. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
hit the target, oh. but this is low, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Come on. Two out with the man at first. Come on. And a quick step off here, hoping to catch that runner leaning, but he's back easily. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue. And the guy moves up into scoring position here. Freddie Galvis gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. Nate Jones will trot in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Nate Jones. Freddie Galvis will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Boy, what a nice job so far of working himself into a hitter's count. Now he can go to work on maybe picking up that two-out RBI out of the nine hole. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Change up, pull the strike, and he comes back even at 2-2. Two two. You're running out of chances here. It's the seventh inning. You can't let this rally go to waste. Looking to keep the shutout intact. Here it comes. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging that. Grounder hit hard down the first base. Whoa, line. what a and play. What a play. Come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. They trail here play. four to nothing. And Kalasian deserves the money. Gene Segura RBIs. will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. Yeah, and he made just a little adjustment last time Didn't coming off of that major, pop up the first time around, and he got himself like a base knock. That's what the good ones do. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Joe's bunt there, but he winds oh, up taking strike ball. two. Yeah. A great Come sell on. job behind the plate, too. He sort of gently moved that glove back over an inch or two as he was catching that baseball. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now a line drive caught down there at third. And that'll take care of the leadoff man here in the home seventh. Hey, so much for having to protect on an 0-2 count. This guy takes a huge rip at this ball and squares it up nicely. Just a tough break for him that he hit it right at someone.
In now, Everett Cabrera squares around and drops down a good one. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Hey, you know what? Nice. You got a hit streak going? A hit's a hit. It doesn't matter whether it's a line drive, an infield chopper, or a bunt like this. They all get the job done, and they all count. They'll keep it going for one more game. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Pulls the bunt attempt back, but it's in there for strike one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Pitch is high, the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. And let's clean our eyes on this stolen base from our high first base camera. You'll see him get a pretty good jump, and he wasn't looking back at all right there, so he gets into scoring position now with one out. One one pitch is a splitter called strike two. Very patient here to start the at bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Swing and a miss got him reaching. He makes the throw to first, two down. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and third now. Over now, they'll apply the tag between second and third. It's a careless double play, and the inning is prematurely over. One. Carlos Gomez will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And he falls behind 0-2. Pause and the 0 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Into the box now, Justin Turner. He drew a walk his first time up. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Grounded back up the middle. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Ready now. Nelson Cruz. He singled his last time up. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Swing and a line drive. Foul. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Booking just foul by a matter of inches wow. that time. Runner at first here, one man out. That's fucking close. Ooh. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Got him on the good Ooh. slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes good for the dude, second time up. tonight. A look at our line score right there tells the story as the Reds lead this one here in the eighth in front of their home crowd here at Great American Ballpark. Colby Rasmus gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. 
Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A runner on first with two away. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. Oh. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone. All that can do is tie you up. Here he comes on 2-0. 3-0 oh. oh now. Dude, that's and he's a strike. Be a that's a strike. Give me something to hit. Boo! Boo! Oh, had the green light there, but it's three balls and a strike now. Yeah, he was trying to do something dramatic right there, but when you think about it, at this point in the ball game, all you need is base runners. And there's Whoa. a full strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. And now, three, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Swing and a miss, and that nice. is the inning. Mets leave one. They're down 4 nothing. Liam Hendricks is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Liam Hendricks. Edwin Encarnacion gets another shot, Leader and if you remember, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Edwin Encarnacion! The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. One zero count. Here it is. Not two close. Oh. It's two and zero. Oh. Side three and oh now. One thing no, that man right there will not tolerate lead off walks, especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Let it rip that time 3 0, but the fastball's by him 3 and 1. Yeah, that's a very hittable location right there. Not where you want to be when you're facing a guy like this. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout, and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, he may, Matt. But I'm sure he's going to wait for word from the guys in the dugout. And as we see it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he indeed was out. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final decision. The previous play is under video. All right, we'll take one last look at it here. Now the question is, if there's enough video evidence to change the call to safe, and wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat the throw, and this might be a well-used challenge. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base and they maintain the right to challenge the further plays going forward. Has been overturned and the batter rules safe. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson safe. as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. I did challenge that, man. I had to. in there and it's 0-2 now yeah and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here he's coming right after him trying to get a punch out
Here's the 0 and 2. Line hard toward right center. In there, the base hit. And the Rich keep getting richer. Two straight hits to start the inning, and now they can really look to salt this one away. Albert Pujols will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. But one or the other is what you really need. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And Albert is 0 for 3 now as he's retired here for the first out. And now that would have fallen under the infield fly oh, rule if it was a fair ball. Center no matter. He goes over to okay. make the catch here in foul territory. Here's Mookie Betts. As he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to shore. Over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Reds leave one. They lead it four to nothing. Great look there at nighttime in Cincinnati as we head to the ninth inning for this one. Adrian Gonzalez will come forward now trying to stave off elimination as he'll get the first crack at things here in their half of the night. It's so hard to believe that everything they've worked for all season long comes down now to these final three outs. Frank Reese will come on now hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the night. Adrian Gonzalez will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And there's a swing and a miss as Adrian finds himself in an 0-2 hole now. They haven't been afraid of coming right after this guy. They've made him have to swing the bat. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Oh, boy. On a nice summer afternoon, this will sting just a little bit. But on a cold night, that's going to make your hands feel like you've got a fistful of bumblebees. Stepping in now, Brett Wallace. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this would qualify as getting on base any way you can. Probably not the way he would have preferred, but when you're losing, you'll take it. Here's Brock Holt now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dickerson has a beat on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Well, this is a situation where a home run here isn't going to tie the game. And he's got to work on just hitting down on the ball and hopefully trying to get it on base. Instead, it's just an easy fly ball in a game where they're running out of outs. First pitch on its way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. That's by him for strike one. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. 
can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And here's a ball hit in the air. Norris is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Well, I really think that having home field advantage here made a huge difference. And these guys are going to wind up surviving this one-game wildcard playoff. So now it's down to the division series where they're going to come into that game with just a little bit of momentum. one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here. Edwin Encarnacion. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So for Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. We're just getting started, folks. You've been watching the National League wildcard game on MLB The Show.